All right, guys, so we are back. I have Miss Maureen Shea here with me, two-time world champion and currently number one in the world. She is going to go over some basic shadow boxing drills that you can do at your own home. I know times are rough, so we want to throw this at you. Maybe we'll do a part two afterwards, but Maureen, go ahead and take it away. Okay, so basically you wanna know how to take your stance. We've kind of gone over this in other videos. You guys can go back into um, Phil's archives and check it out. You gotta get on your stance, okay? If you're orthodox, you write with your right hand, your left foot comes forward. You wanna have your back foot kind of like a kickstand, okay? So you wanna feel your weight evenly distributed. The biggest thing is keeping your hands up, making a fist. Put some quarters in your hands. When you put the quarters in your hands, it'll force you to make the fist. You're keeping your hands right here, okay? The biggest thing is foot movement. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push off the back foot when you're going forward. Push step, push step. Now you're going backwards. You're gonna push off the front foot to go back. Push step, push step. Make sure that your stance and you stay in that stance that you started in, okay? We're going to the right now. We're gonna to step to the right. Pushing off the left foot, leading with the right foot. Replace, get back into your stance. Going to the left, pushing with the right foot. Okay, start with that. Start two coming forward, two coming back, two to the right, two to the left. Okay, let's throw in some punches, basic punches. Jab, one, two, one, two, hook. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. Step forward with the jab. Forward, throw a one, two, throw a one, two, three. Let's step back with the jab. Then we're gonna step to the right. Step to the left. Between each jab combination, you can throw another combination. So if you do that for three minutes, 30 seconds off, a minute off, you're gonna start to understand the movement patterns and then resetting. Making sure that, that stance and that weight is evenly distributed, making sure our hands are up or making fists. Check in with yourself. Make sure that your knees are soft. Here's the kickstand. If somebody pushed me, I got, a, I got a strong stance. All right, jab, one, two. Jab, one, two, three. Jab, one, two. Turning that foot over with the right hand. Jab, one, two, three. Then what we can do is we can add a little bit of head movement. Slip, slip, all right? So what it would look like is jab, one, two. Slip, slip. Jab, one, two, three. Slip, slip. Jab, one, two. Slip, slip. Jab, one, two, three. Slip, slip. So basically you wanna do this about four times a week three minutes on, one minute off. You can even do three minutes on, 30 seconds off, depending how you feel. I would start with four rounds, go four, six, eight, 10, 12 rounds. Um, and that's great for cardio, but you are getting that minute off or the 30 seconds, depending how you feel. And um, you know, just keep that movement going and keeping those hands flowing. Guys, so there you have it. Make sure you do this consistently. Consistency is the key. Miss Maureen Shea, go ahead and follow her on Instagram, Maureen. Maureen, Maureen underscore Shea. Easy, right? Go ahead, check it out. DP will put it in the, down there so you can try it, check it. Make sure you understand what she's about because she's killing it. We also have a fight coming up, hopefully, pretty soon. So make sure you be on the lookout, all right? If you want any more questions, hit the comments down below. Hit subscribe, hit the notification. Make sure you like this video. I know you're gonna like it. We'll probably do a part two. I'll see you again next time. Go ahead, hit the camera.